So Brent Green, I hear a lot of your viewers have been asking where you've been these past few months. You care to fill us in? Yeah, I took a sh I've been taking a break, uh, somewhat of a hiatus. Uh, I stumbled into a uh, position, actually a position that's uh, really fulfilling. Uh, but it's time consuming and very, um, uh, I, there's a, it's involved emotionally and everything. So basically I work for this man right here. His name is Alan Bluford. Um, he was killed by OPD, by an OPD officer about, uh, ironically the same day I moved to Oakland. Anyway, so that's what I've been doing. Um, I've been working with the uh, Alan Bluford Center for Justice, getting it up and running, uh, basically doing all the same things I do for the green scene. Uh, don't worry, y'all. I am going to still, we're still going to be on, you know, uh, we're still going to give you a, a season of programming. And I, I presume now even better programming and even better guests. Um, I want to give a shout out to all the kids who I've connected with over here in the East Bay this past uh, year and a half. Uh, I want to give a shout out to everybody in the Oakland community who's reached out to me personally and, uh, you know, show me love, especially when it was really hard and I didn't know where, you know, what to do and maybe I wanted to go back home or go back to Texas or whatever, you know. Um, I also... I, I definitely want to give a shout out to the, I should say acknowledge the, the Oakland spirit here, man. Like, um, I've never in my life been somewhere where I felt like I was completely, completely like solidified and, you know, I, I mean, for lack of a better, better word, I mean, validated, you know what I mean? Like every in every sense of the word, man, like, e I, again, even when times was hard, <laughs> so I want to give props to y'all for that, and I mean, that that in itself is a testament to, like, you know, what's real and what's fake around here, and I hate to be cliche with the R word, but that's, that's, that's my piece. Hi! Yeah, right, bitch. I'm not talking to you like that today. What's going on right here right now is, um, I guess like people want to know what's up with me right now. So what's going on with me is I have a few things on my mind also on the public tip. Okay, it's some things I want to say to the activists because I mean I'm not an activist, you know what I'm saying? Just, but there's some things I noticed in the activist community that I, I personally want to address. You know, from the point of view of a of a reporter. Um, I, I used to at one time in my life uh, identify it as a uh, as an activist but I think over the years I learned to you know kind of cool out on that shit or whatever but I guess not not be so uh, overtly activist but that's not that's not my criticism okay my, what my point is with with the whole group and the whole lot is is that it's almost the same as how it's almost the same as how like rappers are but I know it's a whole different ball game or what the kids call lane or whatever but what I what I see going on is that a lot of fragmentation now you tell me how in God's name how can you be fighting for like a good cause and a positive cause but then have yet have so much infighting and so much bickering tell me all right now as I take a hit I want you to ponder something else to me too or with me excuse me ponder this now I know we all have our issues with classism and money it's really, I know it's real serious and deep seated with us all. But when a movement happens, right? 
How do you think that movement happens? How do you think you pay for the things that, that, that go into making a movement happen? So as somewhere in there, we have to accept, you know, certain things. It's kind of like when I had cancer, you know, I had to accept, I, I was on that homeopathy at the time, right? But when it came to having a tumor inside of my body, I had to deal, I had to come to terms with going to Western medicine and getting the old snipper snipper, you feel me? It's just reality. It's like you it's like you gotta pay rent. You know what I mean? I mean, it don't matter where you're sleeping at in the Bay Area, you could be sleeping in a closet, you still gotta pay rent up in this piece, you know what I'm saying? Point is though, is that, I, I think in a nutshell, is that when you have like a positive, when you fight, when you so-called fighting for positive stuff, or for a positive cause, then why so much infighting? Why? I mean, I understand, we, the nature of this whole thing is dissent. I understand that. But at a certain point, I think we all gotta, you know, get in our respective lanes and be, a, you know, be aware of what we're doing. You, I mean, I'm not gonna name any names, I'm not gonna say anything in particular, you know, but it just has to do, you know, with that. And, and I also will say this too, in closing, that I understand, like from th this is this is like me apologizing to the activist community as well. I apologize for the way that y'all are, uh, you know, viewed in public media. But at the same time, it's a two-way street, right? Right. That's really what I've been thinking about a lot about lately, you know, is I just don't understand, man, like the infighting and stuff. But it's the same with like rappers and shit. You know, I just I mean I it's no malice, it's just like what I've you know, what I've come to come to see here. I mean I, you gotta realize I came here what almost uh two years ago, what now it's what eighteen months or something? It ain't very long. At the same time, I mean, I had the opportunity to go all over the, the town and, and observe. And this is something else I think Oakland needs to know in particular. I mean, I, I mean, I mean, this is not, I mean, this is not even me tooting the horn or anything, but y'all need to know, like, for sure, dog. Like, and this is me telling you from, and I know my little humble opinion made me mean, doesn't mean, mean a whole lot, but you gotta understand. Y'all influence the whole bucking nation. Y'all don't see that, do you? You remember that uh, hairstyle I used to rock? Y'all used y'all still rocking on the side? Everybody rocking it now. The odd thing, y'all, the mascara thing y'all doing right there? All of them rocking it now. While on the same tip, I acknowledge too that Oakland <laughs> is much like Texas in the sense that y'all like uh, 20 years behind. And it's not an insult. For me, that's what can keep y'all flavorful, you know? So, feel it. I guess what else we got, what else I got, I've been thinking about lately is, well, you know, everybody always got money on their mind, so let's go ahead and talk about that a little bit, so. I guess with the newest changes that have been going on, and for me personally, um, and they've been happening pretty rapidly. I guess it's been going on for the past, what, seven weeks, seven, eight weeks or something down there. And so what I think, I, I think one of the biggest things is that, you know, like right now, all I can say, like, just to keep it short, is I know, man, it feels like when you come from like eating oatmeal and boiled eggs and shit or whatever to like basically whatever you want. I, I, I mean, we'll say relatively, you know, and basically making like the actual minimum wage, you know what I'm saying? Bay Area style. 
it's hard at first not to like get caught up in this whole like and I'm not this is not me trying to be insulting or anything but it's hard not to get caught up in being nigga rich so I guess right now I'm like like right now I'm like real I try to think about all the stuff that that I feel like I owe to me you know what I mean like me personally just me only like to make rent comfortable and then I guess there's also sometimes that, you know, aspect of things that I think about and concerns of like, like maybe like trying to relive all this shit that I feel like I had, I should have lived years ago when I was on the run or whatever. I think, I think in some ways it's good to like try to, to try to feed that, but it's a balance because you know, I got, you know, even though I look hella young and shit, I still got to, like, keep it in balance, you know, about, you know, in regards to feeding that desire to do the thing, or, or live some of the life that I wanted to live when I was in my 20s, you know, like, I don't, I don't want to, like, feed that too much, but just enough, you know, just enough. Thank you, BG. We appreciate you keeping it 100 as usual. Google Plex. Ha, ha, ha.